Yeah. Cool. No. I wish everything was like that. So now that we got the bread. We got the bread. Um, we're going to lead into our East Coast trip, right? Yeah. Talk about that. Jamie mm-hmm. has been all over across the country now. He had been, uh, it flew back with Sean um, from Brantford Airport, and they uh, flew a plane back all the way from BC, didn't you? Yep. So that was That's awesome. So, so the East Coast had to happen for him to complete <laughs> his cross country. Uh, he's been all the way across uh, Canada and back to Brantford, which is really cool. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, a cross-country trip. Uh, Jamie was keen to go with me. It was like, yes, got to do this. It's always better with two. And it's actually kind of how uh, Sky Boys was, uh, the idea came to fruition. So we were, we saw, had so much fun footage and good pictures and had such a great time, we decided we got to start a YouTube channel and start uh, putting this stuff out there. Yeah. So that's kind of where all this happened. And that is why it's slideshow time and and uh, and the videos that were taken were all taken with our phones. All all footage was taken with our phones. Yeah. And uh, Begin the journey right here from Toronto. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it's always nice cut through Toronto. I like going along the coast. Uh, the controllers are nice. Uh, there's lots to look at. You fly usually just north of the CN Tower. If you haven't done it, you should. It's really easy. It's uh, nothing to to uh, hold back on. Just get in there and uh, get after it. So, uh, yeah, we cut a ride on through, follow the coastline of Lake Ontario there. And uh, it wasn't a great day, um, but it was okay. We thought we could get up. There was broken cloud there on the east side of Toronto here, so we're up high. But um, we came up, it was a blanket of clouds, so we, d- we had to go down underneath, stay VFR, obviously. And so we're probably 1,500 uh, most of the way along there. And our f- this beautiful following along the, the uh, lakes and then into the St. Lawrence River there around Cornwall. This is our second video we were working on, and all of a sudden we got an opportunity. We got paid, basically. Now, paid <laughs> is a loose term because we got paid by banana bread. But hey, I say that's a win for everyone mm. involved. Yeah. So today we're actually going to eat the banana bread, and you can see how we like it. So this comes from Jimmy's Catering. Let's see if you can see that a little better. He runs the Clear. restaurant up in the Collingwood Airport. We met him, had a fantastic lunch. Roasted red pepper soup, I remember that because you don't Super get that everywhere. So and you definitely don't get it at an airport. And uh, and these um, grilled chicken sandwiches, and they were phenomenal. So we met Jimmy, awesome guy. I asked him if he minded if we if we talked about him. And uh, he says, absolutely. And then he, he paid us with banana bread. So this is Jimmy's banana bread. Jimmy, by the way, says, come by anytime. Come and see him. He's got a full restaurant out at the airport. doesn't matter if you're a pilot or not. If you're in the area around Collingwood and you want a, a, a fine meal, go out and see Jimmy. If you haven't uh, checked out our last video, make sure you check that out. We'll link it. And uh, you can see where we got this bread. We got a chunk. You cut a very nice amount. That's good. <laughs> okay, we're going to do the taste test. I'm going to destroy this. Destroy this. Oh, oh yeah. damn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's good stuff. This is what you want. So we arrived at our first destination slash fuel stop just south of Montreal, St. Jean. And there was like some kind of there's some kind of like festival of air or something going on there yeah there's carna- the time, carnival <laughs> equipment and but then it looked like a mix of hot air balloons and i couldn't tell what they I were going they, for yeah i forget what they said it was happening there's some kind of cool event there
we were just stopping for fuel. We wanted to get on to our plan was to get to Munch, uh, Moncton that that uh, day. Don't forget the coffee shop. Yeah, well, the coffee shop we went to. We got to get some food. We went to Scores, got some of that good chicken that the French do out there. It's kind of like a French uh, French chicken. Yeah, well, you know, they don't speak English. The chickens only understand French. So anyway. <laughs> The chicken is good. It's like uh, Scores. We went to Scores. It was really good. It's like their one of their versions of Swiss Chalet is what I'm telling you because we're familiar with that here in Ontario. A bit of yeah. <laughs> and then on to the coffee shop. I, think <clears throat> I had a cappuccino. I think you had an espresso. Obviously. Yeah. Makes sense. And then back, we're fueled up again, and uh, we're realizing the weather is not going to be good to cross over Maine. So uh, we are not going to get there, but we decide we well, should we at least get cool things on the way. It was beautiful. And Quebec there. is gorgeous. So we said, well, we might as well fly an extra hour and go to Sherbrooke. We had never been there before; it wasn't part of the plan. So we went to Sherbrooke, and it's very close to the main border. So we'd be in best position to get up and out of there the next day. We fly in. You can see it here. It's just gorgeous. And uh, nice guys there. Um, and again, get fueled up. And guess what? Sherbrooke has a courtesy vehicle. That's right. Airport courtesy vehicle. There's some of those around Ontario. I don't know if you've ever done that, gone somewhere and... And you got that. They, it's usually a nominal fee. I think it was 25 bucks. Yep. Or 30 bucks, something like that. Some airports, um, they're really close to town. They'll just give you a car. Others, yeah, it's kind of like a rental car. It's a little bit of a fee. You can take it for however you want. Definitely call ahead, book it. Um, other people might be using it. We didn't have that option. We just showed up, well, and it was available, so we were lucky. East Angus, which is only a few K away. It was sick. It, it was, was a really nice place. It was so nice. And again, you just show up, you get a code, you punch it in, you're, you got access, uh, good internet, uh, coffee machines, anything you want there. Uh, really nice room, as you can tell yeah, by, it, our, by our slideshow here. It looked like it had just been redone. Jamie did not take long to get comfortable, as you can see here. <laughs> I don't think we'll show that. Well, I don't know. Probably <laughs> should. It's just, it's just life. People want to see that stuff. They want to see the fish and my salad. Are you well, you salad? have to. Yeah, that was, that was the other thing. We could not. Oh, remember the sprayer? The that, vinegar sprayer? It changed, it changed your life. It changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I learned how to live. Yeah, it's like, yeah, all vinegar should be sprayed onto your food. Correct. If you're watching this and you're dumping vinegar on your fries, get out of the cave you've been living in. <laughs> You need to put that vinegar in a spray bottle. It's amazing. Yes. So we had to, but that did not happen in East Angus. East Angus closed down at like <laughs> yeah. eight o'clock sharp. Uh, there was nowhere to get. There's nowhere a to go bike. at night. So we drove to Sherbrooke, which wasn't that far, 15, 20 minutes. And it took Sherbrooke. Forever. I was starving. Yeah, it was getting late. But we had a fantastic meal, and that is where the um, the vinegar sprayer. And we're heading over Maine. Next day was much better. Again, cloud cover was um, uh, fairly low. So we, we were flying at about 2,000 feet most of the way. So again, going through the old, over the old mountains in Maine there, um, Appalachians there, they're, they're old mountains. So it's, they're not steep. Uh, they're not very high. It's beautiful country. There are parts where we went over that were fairly remote. But... Um, we just followed town to town, little towns. It was gorgeous. Um, we had a little bit of wind turbulence um, from a little bit of uh, um, like mountain ridge or escarpment. No, oh, yeah, that one mountain we went past, and all of a sudden it like 
kicked yeah. us in the butt. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> gave us a blind. kick when we went past it from the rear end, and no, uh, it was fine. Funny. We weren't really close. We were close enough to feel that. And <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was awesome. Actually, it was the only. It's it was the only, the only real, real bump we ha- we felt the whole way. Yeah. So we uh, we popped over Maine. Uh, had to dodge a little bit of rain cloud. Fantastic. We popped into Fredericton. Got fuel. Everyone was phenomenal. Great yeah. facilities because I believe it's their international yeah, airport look at that as well. Place. Yeah. Super cool. Very Little professional. FBO. They had just had it renovated, and it was very cool with all their uh, pilot ideas and 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 flying. Uh, yeah, this quiet stuff. lounge where you can go in and it's they had popcorn. You, you can sleep in there. You get popcorn. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's watch TV. Space. Chill out. It's to you know when you're putting in time, waiting for weather or whatever it could be. And then got back in the airplane, and we couldn't leave. We had to wait on the tarmac a bit because of some military maneuvers and practicing that's happening with the big Hercules. The Herc. That is one massive plane. Yeah, that's super cool. You did pretty well filming that with just through the window or hanging out the door a bit. Yeah, again, we had no GoPros at this on this trip. We had nothing but our camera phones yeah. just recording anything we could and... Still got some pretty awesome shots. Those guys, I have to commend them. They were they were dropping little pretend uh, things to see how accurate they get, and they were trying to hit the windsock, and they actually hit the pole. Yeah. With their one uh, with their one practice round, um, it was amazing. So then uh, we started taxiing. We got permission to taxi there, and the uh, helicopter, which you think it might be a Griffin. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm not sure. It was so cool. The guy stands looking right at me and then he just ups about eight feet off the ground 10 feet off the ground and just goes sideways I was waiting for the machine gun to go off and take us out oh man it looked like a scene from rambo and i'm like i cannot believe this is happening <laughs> this is so cool yeah, that's pretty cool that is awesome i've never had an experience like that you know what the chances of that happening again are slim to nil so luckily jamie got it recorded so you can enjoy it now it's very cool so we took off. Off we went. And we uh, flew over Moncton. Yeah, we didn't need to <coughs> stop there because we had lots of fuel, lots of time. And we really wanted to make it into PEI that night. Yeah, we needed to get to Charlottetown. And so you can see uh, Moncton there. Yeah, I got a lot of... Nice city. You can still see the clouds fairly low. Like, we had plenty of height and visibility. No problem with VFR and all the rest of it. We continued on. We got um, to the bridge. There was, yeah, the bridge was neat. And and you got some good footage of the bridge, too. The bridge is so cool. It's so long. What was it? 14 kilometers, I think. Something was like I, that. What is what I read there? Um, then immediately you cross over and you see those red sandy beaches. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, it was. that was really cool. And everything looks so small. Like it's those are transport trucks cruising along that thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you never see scenery like that around here. No, we don't have that in Ontario. <laughs> and there we are. We're actually arriving into PEI. Next time on Sky Boys. so perfectly you swear he should be on sesame street anyway nice